It's Rachel and Dan, who were chuffed with yesterday's tropical design bedroom. Inspired by a luxurious Palm Springs theme, they featured a dark green Roman blind and a flamingo motif throughout to keep it child friendly. I think we did a good job yesterday. The end result were brilliant, yeah. But Sam and Lisa might be difficult to please. Maybe, we'll have to see. Rachel and Daniel, what Ray can you say? I don't think I know anybody with the amount of enthusiasm mm -hmm. that Rachel has for the things that she can turn her hand to. What we're trying to do is create a kind of, it's like a rustic natural wood. Rachel and Dan have decided on an orange wall for their scheme. They're upcycling old apple crates into wall storage and using empty bottles to create a unique wall clock. One of our ideas is to have a clock. Yeah. Mechanism showing 12, 3, 6, and 9. So what? Can't have too much bright orange. Couldn't agree with you more, Mark. Right, ready, Dan? Yeah. And it seems your neighbours agree with you too. Ooh. Like that. Oof. I love it. That is bold. More orange. I know we're on a tight budget, but are we all sharing painting? Painting. Oh, ladies. Don't you know that orange is the new white? While the men are making great progress with their multiple wallpaper patterns, Kelly's taking time to work on the details of their scheme. But not everything is quite so calm over in room three. How's it going? Uh, I'm a bit manic, but we're OK, yes. of course. A bit manic, yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, you, you look a little bit manic. Danny and Rachel have kind of overcomplicated it again. I think that maybe they've gone down the let's build something out of, out of old pallets. Rachel, yes. you're reminding me of someone right now. <laughs> Anyone in particular? That would be me. Doing <laughs> a makeover. We are struggling for time. Struggle. Absolutely yeah. struggling for time. This is the worst one by far. Yeah. Over in room three, there's a race against the clock to finish. Rachel is working on a major element of their design, the distressed wooden bar top. Having fixed discarded scaffold planks together, she uses a blowtorch and carefully scorches the surface. Once sealed with a furniture wax, it's ready to be fitted. <sighs> With the distressed bar top having cost Rachel and Dan so much time, it's all hands on deck if they're going to finish. I think they're going to finish in time, though, because they've got 75 people out there helping. <laughs> 30 minutes to go, guys. Come on, quick. We've got to get half an hour. We've got half an hour. Aww. Right, I need scissors. Back. Scissors. Rachel and Dan were miles behind, but with help, they're back on track. Finally, it's Rachel and Dan. They've framed their orange wall with a light, soft lilac. The bar is clad in reclaimed wood, which Rachel has distressed using a blowtorch. The wooden theme continues with old apple crates, cleverly reused as wall storage, lit with LED lights. The room is completed with artwork and a clock made from upcycled bottles. I feel quite good about this one. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Wow. You have worked so hard today on this image. We've had a little bit of help, haven't we? A little Just bit. Just a little bit. Everyone. Definitely love the lighting. Thank you. That's, that, that works brilliantly. We love the clock. Oh, that's super. That's, that's, that's really, really fun, that. And the bar itself, the work you've put into that... It's special. It's very Absolute. special. And so time-consuming. You've put mm. your heart and soul into that, and you can see it. It actually looked like Ian a bar. Pete yeah. said it's very modern and beautiful. Oh, Which I agree. Nice. Yes. Uh, the negatives, uh, they said it looks like a rustic ranch. Yeah. Who doesn't like cowboys? Ex who, who doesn't, doesn't like natural wood? They burnt it, stained it, yeah. varnished it, burnt it again, yeah. dragged it round the car park on chains. So let's go to Mark and Kelly's comments, OK? They said it looks bright and colourful. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm.